Hello. Today we're going to discuss um, DC generators, and more specifically, we're going to discuss uh, using DC motors for DC generators. In Texas, for our wind turbine, we used a amp, one of the larger Amptec motors as a DC generator, and that worked out pretty well. Um, for this, for our hydro project, we're going to attempt using a treadmill motor, and more specifically, we're using a Shinfu treadmill motor. It's rated at 130 volts at 4500 RPMs. Um, when you're looking for a DC motor to use as a generator, you want one that puts out a good voltage to RPM ratio. So the more voltage per RPM, usually the better, especially for wind, because you're really going to cap out around 500, 600 RPMs at uh, like 25 mile an hour winds and you're, with your average uh, blades. So you really want to keep that in mind when you're looking for a unit. That's why a standard car alternator would not be suitable. Um, we're going to show you how to test these guys um, to see how many, how many open circuit volts they put out per RPM. For this test, we're just going to use a uh, standard cordless drill. These guys are kind of handy because they're usually rated approximately at how many RPMs they, they turn at, you know, uh, full throttle, we'll call it. And this one's rated at 400 RPMs low and 1400 RPMs high. I'm assuming we're going to lose about 10 to 30 RPMs, even just, just spinning the generator, you know, um, with no load. Um, so I, I figure it'll be, our first test will be 380 RPMs. And we're going to hook up our digital multimeter and uh, test the output voltage. And I'm just going to hook it right up to the terminals here and set it up. And we're lucky on this uh, treadmill motor, it has a back shaft that's sized a half an inch, so it'll fit in this chuck for testing. Just pick that up there. And here's our digital multimeter. And we're getting about 10.9 at, I would assume, 380 RPMs. Um, now that's not enough to charge a 12 volt battery but that gives you an idea of what you will need to charge a 12 volt battery. Uh, you can do a 6 volt battery and at full RPMs at around I assume 1480 or no actually uh, 1380 we get about 38 volts. You're not going to be spinning that with a wind turbine but you might be spinning that in a hydro application possibly geared up. Um, we're, for our application, we are going to be doing hydro, and we actually have a Pelton turbine here. And here's a, a simple unit. You can get these online. Um, usually, you're going to find this. This guy's made it small scale and like his machine shop. It's a, it's a pretty nice unit. It's got uh, I guess you'd, you'd call 12 spoons. It's approximately eight inches in diameter. And I've already set up this uh, treadmill motor with an arbor, so it'll bolt right on and spin up. We're gonna we're gonna put this inside a case, and we're gonna show you that in another uh, YouTube video. And uh, we'll show you how many watts it produces, and you know the basic calculations that go into that. Uh, thanks for watching.